most entertaining shows on television's final season has finally given us part one, and that is Cobra Kai season six, part one. This is my non-spoiler review. The season just came out, and I'm here to talk about it, and I'm just here to say that as a kickoff, I am very satisfied, specifically as someone who was a little bit hesitant to this breaking the season up into three parts. I didn't know if that was chosen beforehand or if that was chosen during the middle of production, but I think it's clear and indicated here that yes, they picked a perfect spot to have me salivating for the next part already and specifically with what they are setting up here. And for me, what they were able to provide in part one, season six of Cobra Kai was about exactly what I wanted. It is good setup with good entertainment, with good coming of character moments and bringing the characters together. And, and particularly one element that maybe I'm a little bit hesitant on, but I'm sure the writers, I trust in them that they'll be able to figure it out. But with that said, if you don't know what Cobra Kai Season 6 is about, it's about Cobra Kai who, after they're eliminated from the Valley, Miyagi-Do Karate Dojo must decide on how to compete in the World Karate Championship. Of course, everyone about returns for this season. You already know the main players who are still in play. And again, what I've been very hesitant in on going into this final season was how they were going to handle all the characters and not making this season feel repetitive, not repeating certain notions of certain characters and actually moving these characters a little bit forward. Because as much as I've enjoyed this show, I have felt that sometimes the characters, we move forward, we move backwards in relationships and character arcs. And I felt like the way that the last season ended was like the perfect fruition to give us a final great season. What I like so far is that all the characters feel like they are getting something meaningful to do and again don't feel like they are relaying back on their character arcs unless something specific really hit them but I also think that like for one of the storylines particularly in here and the way that it ended for part one it made sense seeing where this character had gone and where she was going and overall very anticipating that. That said, let's talk about it and get into the performances. So first off, Ralph Macchio is just great. He's been great since the original Karate Kid. He's been great since this show started. And same goes for William Zabaga. I always mispronounce his name. I apologize. But what I love about them is that, you know, them having a dojo together is going to cause some head to head with them. And overall, what I really was satisfied with to seeing these two is that none of it ever feels like it's relaying back, taking us back to some of the older seasons. It actually does feel like two grown people who have grown and evolved that maybe there's a certain silliness to their characters still, but in terms of their relationship, nothing has revolved back. Same thing goes for characters like Amanda LaRusso, Miguel Diaz, Robbie Keane, and even Eli Hawk, who... I just find all these characters to be entertaining. I like where they're at. I like where they're moving their character story forward. The one character that I have always loved is Peyton Liss's Tori Nichols, who I think is a very interesting character who is one of the characters in here who has to, in a way, mature the most and is dealing with the most behind the scenes, particularly with her mother. And what I also really liked within the last few seasons was her relationship with John Kreese, but I also didn't like how he handled that. Now, I'm not going to talk about Kreese as much in this season because I I feel like some of his stuff is a little bit more in spoiler details, but particularly what he does in this season, I think is decent. I think some of it does slow down the pacing quite a bit. I think there was a way to bring him back and center this a little bit better, but that's just a hit or miss. I'm curious to see how the rest of the season plays out. Tori is the character, though, that I am the most inter interested with. And particularly seeing where her character development goes and where this season ends with her and everybody else involved. I loved. And it definitely got me hyped. Goosebumps all around and just excited. And speaking about goosebumps, Cobra Kai each season has gotten better and better and better with the action. And this season so far is hands down the best action yet. I am so satisfied with how they were able to film a lot of these sequences and how intense they made them, no matter how small or big the scales were. And I felt that every episode, some of the fights break out in a silly way, whether it's at a college frat party or another version of it is something big for the World Karate Championship. I think all of that adds to the entertainment, but is particularly well how 
incredible they shoot these scenes. So just got to give a shout out to that. Of course, some of the nuances and some of the other characters that have, we've seen, met and seen along the way, some show up, some do not. And the ones that showed up, I thought were entertaining and used in a great way. Even though they're more of a cameo per se, I'm happy to see how some of these cameos have come up. And as of right now, while I'm sad that I've only gotten to see five episodes and I wish they would have just given it to us all at once, it is kind of nice to not be sitting here going, okay, like I'm hyped. I can't wait for the next season or the next part at least. Give me that and I'll be able to fully come to my fruition. So overall, if you like Cobra Kai, you're going to like this season, season six, part one at least. Will part two and part three deliver? Hopefully, I imagine they will, but I am very satisfied with this, very happy. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below. As of right now, I'm going to give season six, part one, an A minus. I really like this. Couple storylines hindering here and there that I would have liked to keep going a little bit further, but overall, they're doing exactly what they need to do for a final season, and I definitely can't wait to get your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. So, of course, until next time, stay classy. Stay classy.